how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you my truck camping setup on my 2004 Toyota Tacoma short bed using a soft topper or a soft topper instead of the regular hard shell. Da, da, da. So you can see here it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. Da, da, da. Pop this out. The zipper. Pop this little latch out. And then using this, these little hooks on both sides, you could roll this up and tie it down with this, but I'm just gonna be throwing it up for now. So this is the inside of the truck, as you can see. I have a sleeping pad I usually use for camping just back there blocking the rear view window. There's like some small set light setups with the control right there. Let's pop this down. That's what it looks like. Two large drawers in the middle with some open space. Right here on the left and right side. Let's have my hiking boots in here right now. Just throw them in there. But it's pretty deep. It goes all the way almost to the end. About half of that about right there. And then it's the wheel well. Very basic pull-out drawers. They're about 48 inches long or 54. I want to say. I used the three quarters, I think, or five eighths thickness. I forgot exactly what I used. Got some carpet that you could just buy from Home Depot, put it, glued it, and then just screwed these on. It's giving me a little bit of splinter, so I just put some tape on here. And then for the frame itself, I did this piece that goes all the way back to the end, and I put this one right here on half that sits just on top of the wheel wheel that you can't see but it's back there same on the other side and then I just cut this one and then this one slides right in one thing I would say the drawback of this setup is that because this piece of plywood in the middle is just being held on to literally this when there's when you're actually sleeping on top what happens is that this board has bent. So if there's someone laying right here and you try and pull this out, you can't. It, gets, it just gets jammed right there. So you know, the person has to move over to release this and you can pull it out. Um, I would probably recommend putting another one of these. It's right here. To kind of help this piece up and it, it won't get stuck. Um, I just didn't do that because I wanted to have an extra inch of space and I figured I could just struggle a little bit it wasn't that much of a problem for me inside right here we have a little light set up it's really simple the mattress type are these old mattresses I had from a pull-out bed sofa pull-out there's two of them One's bigger than the other one, but they fit perfectly at the width of the truck. What I actually did was, they were longer than the length, so I just cut them, folded it, you know, took out all the extra mat, and just covered it with the sheet. And they never split because they fit so snug on each side that it just never splits. Then I'll show you on this side right here. You see how it's curved? So this piece kind of, the, the bed had like all these grooves going throughout. So the plywood is cut to match the grooves throughout. Overall, it's pretty good. I mean, it sucks that the bed is only 60 inches long. It's kind of hard to sleep in there sometimes. So you just have to sleep diagonally. It's not too bad. It's okay with me and another smaller person inside. Here, we'll hop on inside so you can kind of see what it looks like. Right here. You know, you could just pull out somewhere to a cliff. See the view. You could lay down. It's not too bad. Got the light set up.
And then the only problem is if it, there's condensation, if there's moisture at night, this picks it up. So there's very little water droplets in the morning sometimes, which is a little drawback, but. So this right here is my truck camping setup for my 2004 Toyota Tacoma short bed using a soft topper instead of a regular hard shell. It's good for you when you're out camping. You just go out to a nice view spot and you want to sit back and enjoy. Go ahead and turn this off before I forget. It's up here. This comes down. And then I do have like this cover for this clear thing that goes on the inside so you can't see through it when I close it and I'm in there. You know, this pops back in there. It goes down. Velcro shuts. If you have any questions on how I built it, things I've experienced with it, just drop it down in the comments.